The mask mandate is over and Delta Airlines flies a little too close to playing doctor. I'm Jeff Beer and this is Fast Company's brand hit or miss of the week. This week we have a miss and it goes to Delta. Earlier this week, a federal judge in Florida ruled that the 14-month-old public transportation mask mandate directive, which required people to wear masks on planes, trains, and ride-sharing automobiles, was unlawful. Let's forget for a second that this new ruling came down just as COVID-19 infections are up again across the United States. With 36,251 new infections reported on an average each day and 460 daily deaths and the highest number of reported total COVID-19 deaths in the world. And let's just yada yada a new study that came out in February with research based on an extensive health record database curated by the United States Department of Veterans Affairs that reported even a mild case of COVID-19 can increase a person's risk of cardiovascular problems for at least a year after diagnosis. And that risk is elevated even for people under 65 with no risk factors like obesity and diabetes. Let's just forget all of that for a second. After the mask mandate ruling, Delta Airlines issued a statement that said, quote, we are relieved to see the US mask mandate lift to facilitate global travel as COVID-19 has transitioned to an ordinary seasonal virus. Ordinary seasonal virus? Thank you, Dr. Delta. Yale epidemiologist and global health activist Greg Gonzalez summed it up quite nicely, tweeting, I don't care what you think about masking, but Delta's comment that COVID-19 has transitioned to become an ordinary seasonal virus is just bonkers, has no basis in science, and is outright misinformation misleading their customers, of which I am one. Now, Delta, to its credit, did move pretty quickly to change the wording of its statement, revising it to read, quote, we are relieved to see the US mask mandate lift to facilitate global travel as COVID-19 transitions to a more manageable respiratory virus with better treatments, vaccines, and other scientific measures to prevent serious illness. There are obviously two sides to this issue, but overall, there are ways of treating both with respect that we just really aren't seeing. People still have the right to smoke cigarettes, but there are rules to prevent their choice from impacting impacting the health of others with secondhand smoke. The way many airlines announced the mask mandate removal was pretty shocking, often waiting until after takeoff to tell people, sticking those who are unvaccinated or immunocompromised in a very tough position as their fellow passengers gleefully whipped off their masks. That's like getting on a flight and just after they seal the door and take off, the flight attendant jumps on the intercom and announces that this will be an all smoking flight, any brand but especially a brand that packs people into a metal tube and hurls it through the sky for hours at a time, needs to consider its audience and the impact of their choices. I'm not saying Delta should have kept the mask mandate, that's its choice. But how it initially navigated that choice was at best absurdly clumsy. For a brand that so often gets things right, this was a rare bumpy ride. That's it for this week, thanks for watching. To see more weekly videos about the best and worst in brands and marketing, hit the like and subscribe button.